and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, a fiery crash along Highway 3 near Soyuz spread to some nearby bushes igniting a forest fire. The fireball erupted when an empty westbound semi rear-ended another truck loaded with lumber. The driver of the empty semi had to be flown to hospital. BC Forestry had to be called in to extinguish the blaze. That's the thing about the Okanagan is in the grass field types with a wind and there was probably 10 to 15 kilometer winds out of the south. Uh, right off the edge of the highway, burning up into the sagebrush and grass, so it moved pretty quickly. The highway was closed for several hours before reopening to single alternating lanes. Two buildings were nearly destroyed by flames in downtown Merritt. The blaze took several hours to contain and fire crews had to remain on scene overnight and into the next day. Two residents living in the upper story apartment of one of the buildings were displaced. One firefighter was injured and had to be treated at the scene. The cause of the fire has not been determined. A brief but dramatic electrical storm blew through the Okanagan this week. As many as 50 lightning strikes were reported in the region from Penticton north to Salmon Arm. Lightning split a tree in East Kelowna, while other strikes were reported in Rose Valley and over Okanagan Lake. In Armstrong, the roof of a home was hit by lightning just 10 feet from where kids were sitting. Rain and winds also played havoc for a short period in Kelowna. A woman is recovering from an arm injury after a large tree branch fell on top of her while she was relaxing at Kinsman Park in Kelowna. The woman was with a group of people from Pathways Ability Society when the branch fell on top of her and then several more fell, barely missing two others sitting next to her. Just hanging out, enjoying the afternoon and uh, Peggy was sitting on the blanket and I heard a funny noise and I looked up. All of a sudden this branch starts coming down. I jumped out of the way so I didn't get hit and looked back and Peggy was totally buried underneath the huge branch. The area was taped off while city workers were brought in to assess the tree. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.